Berkeley County School Security Director, the focus of a Washington Post investigation into an alleged illegal traffic stop, illegal search, and illegal medical procedures. Now we have video from that traffic stop that happened back in 2011, the video that you are seeing right here behind me. News News' Travis Rice joins us with more on why it's just coming to light five years later. Travis? Good evening, Brendan. Then Deputy Tim Knight pulled over Kelvin Hayes in March of 2011 for signaling a turn too late. The video captured a heated confrontation and Hayes filed a lawsuit in 2013 claiming his civil rights were violated. That case was settled last year, but as a part of a broader investigation of alleged police abuses in South Carolina, the Washington Post is now questioning why the deputy was never disciplined. All that over this. Dashcam video from 2011 shows Kelvin Hayes signal and make what appears to be a regular left turn, but a Dorchester County deputy pulls him over anyway. Apologizing, Hayes continues to be polite with Deputy Tim Knight, and for roughly five minutes, Deputy Knight questions Hayes. Hayes answers, even though he doesn't have to. Are you give me a ticket? Hayes appears to be fed up with the 21 questions routine and finally asks the deputy if he's going to ticket him. Huh? Are you give me a ticket? That's where the incident reaches a head. After Hayes was arrested, he was taken to an area hospital where the deputy made staff take samples of Hayes' blood and even x-ray his stomach to check for drugs, all against Hayes' will. He came back clean, and once the prosecutor saw this dash cam video, she dropped all charges. Again, Tim Knight was never disciplined after that incident. In fact, he was promoted to corporal not long after it, and the sheriff's office told me today they never received a complaint about him in his time there. We spoke with Knight this morning. He told us he did see the Post article but wouldn't comment further. Knight now serves as the director of security for Berkeley County Schools, and the district told me today the incident happened before he worked there, and all employees must pass a comprehensive background check. Reporting in studio, Travis Rice, News 2.